Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to customize your own Nike Air Force One and make it special to you through Nike ID on their website. We're gonna break down every aspect of the customization process. I'm gonna actually end up customizing a pair and ordering them for myself and I'll show you exactly how long it takes for the process to happen and for you to actually get the shoe to your door. And at the end of the video, I'll show you guys the final result for the sneaker that I decided to custom for myself as well. So if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show hey. on this channel. I love talking about sneakers and especially giving you guys cool tips and tricks and tutorials like this. So if you haven't already consider subscribing and joining the fam, we're on the road to a million subscribers and you could be the next one to get us there. So first things first, what is Nike ID and how does it work? I still like to call it Nike ID, but Nike calls it Nike by you, which is essentially the same thing. Basically an opportunity for you to be able to customize a sneaker through their website and create a product that is a special colorway based off of the models that they provide and then you can customize it and add your name and different things like that depending on the materials that they provide throughout the year now what does that mean different times throughout the year they like to integrate different options when it comes to materials so that way say for example you wanted to buy a pair of shoes right now and then six months later from now they might have a whole different set of materials or color options for you to customize the shoe so that way you have kind of a time sensitive thing as well saying hey I wanted to do this and I have a potential chance to get it I want to make sure I don't miss out on it I should definitely order it now because later down the line they might have a whole new set of materials and options to come we've seen snake skins and patent leathers and uh, corduroys and suede's and all different types of colors and prints and patterns on the website throughout the years and that's one thing that's kind of cool about it is now you have the opportunity for people that want to design the shoe to not let somebody else design that same exact model three years from now or something like that and everybody has their own different custom models over the years so for me typically I always find different reasons to do customizations and tell stories through my sneakers and I have a bunch of different Nike ID shoes that I've done over the years and maybe one day I'll make a video showing you guys all the Nike ID custom sneakers that I have made for myself over the years but with all that being said let's go ahead and hop into the website so I can show you guys all the options that they have right now in current time and how the whole process works with the creation process and then we'll put the order in and get the shoe and I'll show you guys what I get at the end of the video so I just got on the website and it's actually crazy because <laughs> They no longer have the materials available uh, that I just ordered my pair for and I shot the intro after but it's okay I'm still gonna show you guys the whole process and the shoe that I ordered But this is a prime example of if you want to get a shoe with the materials You might want to consider ordering it sooner than later because they definitely go away and they switch up materials all the time So basically right here you have Nike Air Force one low by you customize men's pairs or women's pairs You select your size then you hit on the customize so right here on the inspiration These are gonna just be kind of sections that's giving you inspiration on starting your color block schemes and getting going but honestly it's all up to you and what you decide to do so what you're gonna want to do is hit customize right here and now you can see if you click right here it says vamp and then it has 1 through 13 so basically these are all different categories different areas of the shoe and you'll see it kind of highlight on the screen as I click the arrow the different area will highlight in between each and every time that I do that so you can see the indicators of like okay this is the area that I'm customizing right now in this moment so we're gonna do is go back to the first part and we're gonna start from the top and just show you guys, you got premium leather and then you got a premium suede. Basically your suede options are gonna be a little bit more limited because they have a different special material. So you got that lilac right here, you got the cool gray and then you got the black. And then on the premium leather, you're gonna have a lot of different options when it comes to the vamp with the different yellows and the blues, giving you more of these summertime colors. It's always cool because there's like different seasonal stuff. So. I'm definitely not a uh, orange fan, so we're definitely gonna switch that up ASAP and uh, just design the shoe a little bit different. I'm gonna do something a little bit basic for you guys uh, in this design before I show you my final product. Uh, so right here we got the royal on the top of the toe. So that means I'm gonna probably gonna make like a royal toe type, you know, Air Jordan 1 colorway vibe to it. So you got the different suede. So actually you probably could do a whole suede up right here too. That's kind of cool to know. So I kind of just messing around with the different colors to see what I like. And again, I'm gonna do something a little bit basic on here for the color blocking. Um, we could make it a Royal Air Jordan 1 style, or we could do it like, I don't know, I'm trying to think. We could do it like a Royal Tail, so let's do it like that. So we'll do the white right here. Same three suede options for that end. The swoosh, do a Royal swoosh. And then onto the tongue, you got different branding right here. So you can see you got the black patch, Get the gray patch, the white patch. I think on here, we're probably gonna go 
with maybe the white patch right here with the black and then on the back end this is royal toe vibe so we're gonna hit him with that and then let's see we'll go over here we'll do some more royal just kind of keep it smooth and cohesive with that tongue this is a, this is a tongue blend liner okay so the sock liner and everything this is where you could change these colors up and you can also you know switch it around um or you can drag on the screen like this if you click down you can always change uh the shoe angle and direction however you want to if you're ever messing with something so for here we're gonna go with the white it might look clean with the black I don't know. See, now we might have to tweak it out a little bit. So I'm going to click on the section. You can also click on the sections. If you click on here or here, you'll see it kind of highlight as you go um, instead of going, you know, step by step doing what you want to on there. So we might have to just make it more like this. I'm going to just make it classic clean. I know I know it's very basic, but I'm just kind of giving you guys the tutorial of how the whole process works. So this is a sail colored midsole. It's gonna give you more of that off-white vibe. This is that pure white. A lot of people like doing the sail. I personally like adding the sail too, giving it that a little bit, a little bit more of a, I don't know, vintage age look to the shoe. And then you can switch it up too with the different gums. And sometimes they have translucent uh, midsoles and outsoles and stuff. So let's check out the outsoles right here. Um, you got solid colors. So got the browns. And then these are gonna be the speckled mixtured material stuff. So I'm gonna go with the solid on here. Uh, we'll probably just do the black, make it simple, make it clean. Um, and then on the back end, this is one thing that I really love about it. So you can change the color of the text and you can also change the text. So I'm gonna do black um, and you can put it right here. So DNA uh, show. I don't know how many letters you can put on there. Yeah, you can only put three on each side. So DNA show, or I'll do like, uh, we'll do air, we'll do air DNA, something like that. I don't know. Subscribe to the DNA show, basically. So I'll put air DNA on the back end of the shoe. Um, and that's kind of going to kind of complete everything. You got the sock liner, you got the tongue, you got the vamp, you got the mud guard, you got all the different areas, the midsoles, the outsoles, the swooshes, the back panels, everything's gonna be completed. Now this is gonna be a very simple and clean color blocking style. Again, it's gonna be up to you to really freak it out and get it super icy and customized to how you want it to be. I'm just doing something to kind of give you guys the step-by-step -step tutorial process of it. And again, this is honestly something I might even consider ordering for myself because recreating all the classic OG Air Jordan 1 colorways in the Air Force 1 is also a dope idea as well. I've done it with the Chicago color blocking before. I might have to show you guys that in the future as well. Um, but yeah, this is basically the whole process. So after you've done that, now you can kind of see right here on the website and navigate throughout the product and kind of, you know, see all the different angles and stuff like that. Then obviously, you know, I'm a size 13, so I'm gonna click size 13, add to bag. And then from there, you go through the whole checkout process and I'll tell you guys how long it took for me to get my pair in the mail after I ordered mine. All right, you guys, we are back and I finally got the shoe in the mail. Now, what do I mean by finally got the shoe and how long did it take first? So basically, Basically, I put this order in on June 9th and I got the notification saying, hey, your order has been placed. And then I got another notification on June 15th saying that the order was completed. And then on June 20th, the day that I got my shoes, which is today, now I have the shoes here in hand. So basically from the 9th through the 20th was how long it took. So basically low key a couple weeks, which wasn't really that bad. It used to take like six to eight weeks. So I think just overall for that turnaround process to be able to get the shoe in under three weeks, to me, I think that's a pretty solid timeline. Now looking at the box right here, it says Nike by you, and then it has the Nike swoosh. And it's the all over white box with the shroud that pulls out with the sleeve and then it has my size and then it has the image of the shoe right here on the front end of the box i can't show you guys the image because i want to show you guys the shoe before you see that so let's go ahead and crack the box open real quick so on the inside right here it has a piece of paper and this is the paper that standard comes with the nike id sneakers or should i say nike by you sneakers and it says nike in the swoosh are trademarks and your guarantee of quality one of one and then it has a size chart and colors and different options like that kind of everything with the details of designing a sneaker now we got the air force one i love doing air force ones on here this shoe right here to me extremely fire it's almost I've, i heard some people say it's kind of like that strange love vibe but i don't know for some reason i was really digging these i don't have any air force ones that are kind of in that 
pink and red colorway giving you those valentine's vibes so i think for me i really love this sneaker let's go over the details the materials and everything that i decided to do when it comes to the color blocking on this shoe real quick so starting with the outsole you have your all red nike air force one outsole on the midsole i decided to go with more of the sail color instead of the pure white i did the pink with the air branding on the back end of the heel and then on the upper we got kind of a mixture of materials you got more of a tumbled leather and then you have more of a glossy satin type of leather with the pink on the front and the back end and around the eyelids and then on the tongue as well with the leather tab with the nike air force one right here these come with a pair of pink laces that i decided to do at first i was thinking about doing like white or red or something like that but i was like I already have those colors so i felt like it was better to do something that matches with it and if i ever wanted to switch it i could just take some out of my other shoes that i already have in my collection now when it comes to the swoosh you got a tumbled red leather swoosh tumble white panels on the side and the toe cap and on here you got a little accessory that's locked onto the laces and it's like a little sneaker brush and it has a nike swoosh on it and it's in gold right here it's like a little metal type material on these ones in particular they didn't let you do the option with the custom letters on the back end usually i put the custom letters on the back end when it comes to the heels but it's okay i still like the colorway and i feel like these are gonna look dope and i'm gonna be able to rock these and not many people are gonna obviously have them because i created the colorway but at the same time i know these are going to stand out when i do decide to rock this shoe so let me know what you guys think about these down below and if you're ever interested in doing something like this what would be some colorways or you know color blocking patterns or specific colors that you would use in your design process i would love to hear and if you do actually end up designing something let me know down below in the comment section or tag me on ig and let me see your design or your shoe when you get it in person so i can see what you came up with as well i always love seeing people's color blockings and schemes and patterns and storytelling behind the shoes these one in particular i didn't have a real story behind it typically when i do a nike id i have like some type of story and it matches the shoe and then it has the colors that go along with it i was just kind of messing around on the website i designed these and i was like these are low-key fire and i i, I low-key just need these so that's kind of how i got to these ones but all my other ones got more meaning and more storytelling behind them but you know it is what it is sometimes when you make a fire shoe you just gotta copy it so i hope you guys enjoyed this and i hope this video was helpful i know for a lot of people you can get on the website and just design and design and design and it's so hard to pick and pull that trigger on that one pair and you've never actually done it before and actually made your own pair of sneakers before so what i'm telling you guys is if you got the funds to do it and you've always wanted to do it just go out on a whim do it try it and then if you like it or if you want to do something else do it again it's always cool to have those custom you know items and those sneakers in your collection made for you by you type thing so i think it's super dope and it's another way to make a really really dope christmas or birthday or some type of celebration gift through storytelling through sneakers and creating a custom pair of shoes for somebody and giving those to somebody as a gift trust me when i tell you people love it it's a great gift especially for sneakerheads and a lot of people sleep on it and not even thinking about that as a gift i know christmas time is coming up soon well not soon but we got about six months but i know during that time it's always like what should i get somebody trust me this is a great christmas gift or you know whatever holiday you may have and people love it so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see any other videos like this or me customizing other models or going through different tutorials let me know down below in the comment section i'll see you guys in another one all right guys. Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video, this is another Nike ID that I have from way back in the day. And as you can see right here, crazy materials, nice different accents with the swoosh. You got the velvet on the inside of the sock liner. That's what I'm saying. When they mix up the materials, it's super dope, but you miss out on opportunities. And next thing you know, you're like, bruh, I should have copped it. Like I was saying before, sometimes you just got to pull the trigger and make that design that you want. Yeah.